Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a comparison video today of the entire 2014-2015 Nike Soccer Ball slash Football lineup. Now starting from the top left corner, we have the top end Nike Ordem 2 with a retail price of $150 US. In the middle we have the Nike Catalyst with a retail price of $80. Next to that, we have the Nike Sabre, which goes for $40. We have the Nike Luma, which goes for $35. The Nike Strike, which goes for $30. And finally, the Pitch, which goes for $25. So it's six balls in total that make up the entire line. And in today's video, we're going to compare all of them, talk about what the major differences are, and hopefully allow you to make a good decision on which of these balls in each individual price range is the best option for yourself. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. In order to properly compare the entire Nike ball lineup, I thought it would be best to split it up into three categories. One being the high-end balls, the second being the value balls, and the third being the more budget edition soccer balls. So we're gonna start off with the high-end models that I have right in front of me. We have the Nike Ordem 2, which again has a retail price of $150. And then just below it, we have the Nike Catalyst, which retails for significantly less at $80 US, but it still is a relatively high price soccer ball. So what is the major difference? As far as design is concerned, these are two completely different soccer balls that are gonna feel a lot different from each other. I would say that if you really do want the best of the best, the Ordem 2 is the way to go. This is their premier soccer ball. It's going to be used in several professional leagues uh, this entire season, probably the next season as well. I'm sure they won't make too many modifications to the ball itself. It features a very, very unique 12 panel design where you essentially have 12 of these pentagons. It's all fused together. The paneling on the outside is made out of a very high tech material. You have Nike's AeroTrack technology, which gives it all these little lines here for a very fast and true flight pattern through the air. It has a nice consistent touch on it. Um, it's got a little bit more weight to it as you would expect from a high-end match ball, the texturing on the outside, and of course it's FIFA approved. And again, if you're looking for the best of the best in terms of performance, as well as durability, the Nike Ordem 2 $450, while it is very sleep, uh, very steep as far as price is concerned. It still is an absolutely incredible soccer ball and really the best of the best as far as what Nike has to offer at this point in time. As far as the catalyst is concerned, for $80, you're still getting a high quality soccer ball. Please keep in mind that while it's not the top end one, it still is a FIFA approved soccer ball. And in terms of design, it's more along the lines of what we saw from Nike's previous match ball. So if you're not a fan of the Ordem, but you want a newer ball from Nike, the Catalyst is definitely the way to go. It does have a 32 panel design where the actual panels themselves mirror, like I said, the older match balls from Nike. It is stitched as opposed to fused, and you're not gonna have any texturing on the outside. It has more of a traditional panel shape and material, almost like what you would find from an Adidas Tango ball or something like that. Um, so no texturing, 32 panel design. It's got a nice weight to it. It is of course FIFA approved. And for the most part, this does feel like a very high end soccer ball. So again, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want something that is very modern, kind of cutting edge as far as technology is concerned in a soccer ball, the Ordem 2 for $150 is in my opinion, the best ball in this lineup. But if you prefer to have something a little bit more traditional, um, in terms of feel and performance than the Catalyst. Again, it's a FIFA approved ball and for $80, it's just as good as far as performance is concerned uh, when it comes to comparing it to the Ordem 2. It's just gonna feel a little bit different and a little bit more traditional. So again, preference plays a big role here in terms of which is going to be the best option for yourself personally. As far as bang for your buck is concerned, the Nike Sabre at $40 US is probably the most value oriented ball in their current lineup. For $40, you're getting a 32 panel design. All the panels are fused together. It's not FIFA approved or anything like that. It's a smooth finish on the outside. It has more of a high end feel to it as far as the panel material is concerned. It is completely slick with a shiny finish to it. But for the most part, for $40 US, it does have I would say 85 to 90% of the feel of what you're gonna get from the higher end match balls. So if you wanna spend less than $50 on a soccer ball, one that's gonna perform the part, be very, very durable, have more of a weighted feel to it, similar to what you might get from a higher end match ball, the Nike Sabre at $40 US is an absolutely fantastic value. Not to mention that this is going to be significantly more durable than the 35, 30, and $25 option soccer balls from Nike. So again, if you're really looking for 
for the best bang for your buck option, one that's going to perform the part, look the part, and also be very, very durable, the Nike Sabre is definitely the way to go. The final category consists of what I would consider to be the budget options in Nike soccer ball lineup. We have the Luma at $35, the Strike at $30, and the Pitch at $25. So they're all within $5 of each other, all under the $40 price range, but which is the best option? Now we'll start off with the Luma as well as the Strike, because these are virtually the same balls. For $35, the only difference between the Luma and the Strike is going to be the actual finish of the soccer ball, where the Luma is a little bit more shiny and has a smooth finish, as opposed to a very slight dimpling that you're going to find on the strike which i wouldn't necessarily say is better in any way at all and the loom is going to come in some fancier colorways whereas the strike models uh, are basically going to mimic the colors that you're going to find from the official match balls they're a replica variation if you will uh, so what is the better value here honestly the strike for minus five dollars less uh, you're really getting the exact same soccer ball and unless you're absolutely in love with a particular color of the luma the strike is the better option you're going to save yourself five dollars and like i said it's pretty much the same ball they both feature a 32 panel design they're all stitched the quality isn't fantastic but again for 35 and 30 dollars you really can't ask for too much um, and overall, they're going to get the job done. They're definitely not premium balls. They're certainly not the most durable balls. And they're not the best when it comes to overall performance. But if you need a soccer ball for practice, both of these are definitely going to get the job done. There's nothing wrong with them is kind of what I'm getting at here. So we'll move the Luma out of the way. We'll move the Strike over and we'll bring on the Pitch. So we got $30 for the Strike and $25 for the Pitch. What's the difference between these two balls? Again, the difference is very, very minimal. I would say that the Pitch is actually very, very similar to the Luma. The major difference here is that, again, the material on the outside with the Pitch does feel a little bit cheaper than what you're gonna find with the Strike. For that reason, it may be a little bit less durable as well. But in terms of overall feel, they're going to perform very, very similarly. They're gonna fly through the air very similarly. They have very similar weights about them. And again, it really just depends on what you can get your hands on and what your budget is. If you don't have the $30 for the Strike, the $25 for the Pitch, while they both aren't fantastic balls, the Pitch, again, is going to get the job done if you're on a budget for a soccer ball. So out of the three, the Luma is good. They're all very, very similar balls. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it just because you're more or less paying for a colorway. I think the Strike is the best option option out of the bunch but again if you're really on a tight budget then the pitch will definitely get the job done as well all right guys this is it for my roundup of the 2014 2015 soccer ball slash football lineup from nike uh, they really do have something for everybody in this line and just to sum everything up one more time again if you're looking for the best of the best in terms of performance i really do feel like the nike ordem 2 is the best performing ball in the lineup but as far as high-end match balls go, the Ordem 2 and the Catalyst are both really good options. Again, like I talked about in the video, it really depends on what your preferences are when it comes to high-end soccer balls. By far the best value in the lineup, it has the best price-to-performance ratio, is the Nike Sabre. For $40, if you check out the review page on my website, link down below in the description, you can actually pick up the Nike Sabre for a little bit less than its $40 retail price, making it an absolutely fantastic value overall, even better than it already is. So be sure to check that out. And again, if you're on a budget for $40 or less, the Sabre is going to offer as close to a high-end soccer ball for performance and feel as you can get without paying that $80 to $150 price tag. At the low end, as far as budget models are concerned, I really do feel like the Strike is perhaps the best of the bunch. For $30, it is fairly inexpensive. And again, you can get it for a little bit less than that. And it's a pretty solid option when it comes to performance. I'm not generally a fan of lower-end soccer soccer balls, especially since I've been using mostly high-end ones over the last few years or so. But again, if I were to pick a low-end ball, I think it would be something like the T90 Strike, just because it has a good performance-oriented feel about it. It's well-balanced. I like the 32-panel design. Um, I don't really have any uh, major complaints or problems with the actual texturing on the outside. It's not too sticky or too padded or anything like that. And again, for $30, if you're on a budget, it definitely is not a bad option. And of course, the Luma and Pitcher are there as well, depending on what you get your hands on. And again, 
depending on the price range that you are looking to buy a soccer ball in. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. That would be greatly appreciated. If you are interested in any of the soccer balls that you saw in today's video and all of the available colorway variations, check out the link down below in the description. It'll take you to the review page where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. For all of these soccer balls, you can pick them up all below their retail price. So again, if you're interested in any of these, that link is down below in the description. If you have any questions concerning the contents of the video, leave those questions down below in the comment section and I definitely will get an answer out to you. And of course, if you have any suggestions as far as content is concerned, leave those down below in the comments as well. Always open to hearing what you guys want to see as far as content is concerned. Uh, other than that though, guys, subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.